Hey, this is Rene, and in this video, I want to work on the Super Trend Expert Advisor one more time. And we will um, uh, include a moving average filter to filter the yeah the general trend of the market. So let's let's have a look here. For example, we can find the moving average indicator in the trends folder in the indicator folder here. And for example, I can add a moving average filter here, for example, the 200 period moving average filter. So for example, we could say we want to trade this moving average strategy, but, <coughs> oh, sorry, but we only want to make the short trades if the price is below the moving average and the buy trades if the price is above the moving average. So this is an approach to filter trades that um uh that go against the like the 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 market direction and we can jump right into our source code here and first of all if we want to create a moving average filter we of course need a new handle for this because we want to create another indicator handle that we can then use to um yeah to 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 receive um, prices from this specific indicator. So for this indicator, there is a predefined function which is called IMA. And we can look in the reference and you can see all the parameters here. And this is a little bit different to the iCustom function because the iCustom function is always used if there is no predefined function functions for indicators. But for some indicators, there are predefined functions. For example, for the Bollinger Bands indicator, for the Stochastic indicator, for the Moving Average indicator, and many more. So we can have a look at this, and now we have to provide all these parameters here. So let's start off with a symbol, which is, of course, the chart symbol. Then we need the time frame, and I would suggest to create another time frame input here. So let me copy this real quick. We can say MA time frame, which can be another period than um, the time frame for the super trend indicator. So we can take the MA time frame, then we need the MA periods, which is the second parameter, which I already renamed, and the shift value I usually leave it um, or set it to zero. Then we need the uh, calculation price. And this is really cool because there's an enumeration for this, which is uh, enum MA method. And we can say MA method is um, uh, mode SMA as a default value. And we can now use this MA method um, variable here as a parameter for the IMA function. And now we need the applied price. We can also create a <clears throat> input for this. So we can say MA, uh, input enum uh, applied price and we can say, yeah, we want to name this MA applied price and then we say, for example, we want to have the closed price. And by using these enumerations, this is super cool for the user because he's now able to choose yeah, the MA method and the MA applied price um, using these drop-down menus. So, for example, we can say the MA periods are 200 by default. And yeah, now we have the moving average handle, which is created in the onInit function. We can then use this MA handle as we did with the ST handle. It is yeah pretty much completely the same. So we can create a double array where we want to store the values in. And then we use the copy buffer function, provide the MA handle, and then we say what buffer we want to receive the values from. The moving average has only one line, so we only have one buffer, which has the index zero. Then we have a starting position, which can be um, yeah zero. It doesn't really matter. We just receive the current um, moving average value at the current bar. And we can, of course, go ahead and include this MA value in our chart comment. It is the moving average array here at index zero. And we can then use this moving average value inside of this MA array and check it before we open new positions. So what we want to do here is we want to find the piece of code where we have a buy signal and then we want to check 
if um, wait a second we open the position here in this block so before we open a position we simply want to check if the current bit price or yeah wait a second let us let us take the previous ma um, moving average value so the value at the last bar because then we can compare it to the close one variable here so we can check if close one is above ma at index 0 and then we open the body of this if statement and move all the code which is important for opening positions inside of this body and we do the same uh, same thing of course for the cell uh, side here so we take all the code which is important for opening a cell position and we put it inside of the body of this specific if statement where we check if the close price of the last bar is below the moving average value. So this is it pretty much. So we can just go ahead, start the, the test again and you can now see, um, hopefully it will, yeah, it will print the moving average in, in the chart. You can now see if there's a... Um, uh, a signal, it is only executed if the price is below the moving average. In this case, um, yeah, the price is below the moving average, so we make a sell trade. Here you can see there was a buy signal which was also above the moving average, so we make this, um, so we open this trade. And at this point where the buy signal is closed, there's another sell signal, which is in this case not executed because we are above the moving average filter. And in this case, this was a really good decision because this would be a losing trade. So there's another buy trade and we make this trade because we are above the moving average. We lose this trade because, of course, filters are not perfect and sometimes it would be better to, yeah, to not have a filter, but yeah, in many cases it is a better with a filter. So just play around with this filter. You can use it. You can, of course, yeah, delete it from your source code. Or what I always recommend is using a little switch in the inputs to make um, or to enable uh, the user to choose if he wants to um, use this filter. So, for example, you can create an input variable like is moving average filter. And then you can say, before you open a position, you want to check if either this filter is, uh, is turned off or the filter criteria is met. So this is for the buy position and this is for the sell position. Is MA filter um, deactivated or the criteria is met? So what we can do here is we can now say moving average filter false and in this case, Wait a second, false. And in this case, we still make every single trade. Yeah, this is still a bug in the MetaTrader 5 because sometimes you cannot close the tester. Then you just have to force the tester to close. So let's do this last test here. And <clears throat> let's see what, what it does if we turn off the filter. Yeah, you can see... Even if we are above the moving average filter, we still make sell trades because the filter is now turned off. So let's have a look at the changes in this um, tutorial one more time. So first of all, we created five new input variables. Um, yeah, first of all, a switch to uh, say if we want to use this moving average filter and then for more informations, information which are relevant for the PC to know what exact moving average he has to calculate. Then we create a global variable, which is the moving average handle. We then use this moving average handle variable and um, initialize it with the return value of the IMA function, which has most of these um, input variables as parameters. So the user is able to yeah, define what specific moving average he wants to calculate. Then in the onTick function, we calculate the moving average value of um, the last bar, which is, for example, in this case, um, the, moving, whoop, the moving average value at this bar here. And then before we open a buy position or a sell position, we check if either the filter is turned off or the 
close price of the last bar is above the moving average value at the last bar. And only if one of these um, uh, conditions is true, then we enter the, the, the body of this if statement where the code is um, located, which is, yeah, which takes care of the um, position opening. So this is it pretty much. So um, we now finished this um, expert advisor, play around with it. I will now make one or two back tests and upload them in a new video, I think, in one or two days. So uh, make sure to check this out. If you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about automated trading, make sure to check out the first link or second link, any link in the description there, you will find a link to a website where um, yeah, you can have a look at the MetaTrader 5 Masterclass, which is a complete course that I created uh, where I explain MetaTrader 5 programming in much more detail and where you learn everything about variables, control structures, uh, object-oriented trading, uh, programming, um, yeah, and stuff like that. Make sure to check out the website. You will see a video where I show all the contents of this course. So see you in the next video. Have a great time. Have good trades and bye-bye.